Hey guys, welcome back to Coaster Act. There may be an old, rough wooden coaster that may have plans to get removed or relocated. And today, we'll look at the top 10 roller coasters we may sadly lose in the future. I'll rank the ride from less likely to most likely to get removed. Now, let's start. Number 10, Wildcat at Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So, why is this rank really low? That's because it may not get RMC anytime soon, because Lightning Racer just got retracked, and Wildcat was the first GCI ever built. The RMC Wildcat looks really cool. It may get the GCI Titan Shock, but as far as we know, there are no plans to remove Wildcat. Number 9, Wicked Twister at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Last month, Coaster Legend released a video on the Wicked Twister removal teaser from a tweet on Twitter by Tony Clark, which said, Weekends are wicked, but they all have to end sometime. Make the best of it. The link of the channel and the link of the video will be in the description below. He said this could mean that Wicked Twister could possibly get removed. Yeah, it's their more or less popular ride at Cedar Point, and I don't think they would bother removing it at all or even relocating it to a smaller park. Number 8, Gemini at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. This ride still runs very smooth and has great airtime, but there have been rumors of the ride closing and it's Jigurslar 16 inversion Eurofighter, and they can definitely save some room for that. They almost removed it for Top Thrill Dragster. It definitely survived that, but can it survive for even longer? Number 7, Loch Ness Monster at Busch Gardens Williamsburg in Williamsburg, Virginia. People still love the ride for what it is, but has gained a reputation for a rough ride, and it's already way past the end of its service life. But, they did celebrate its 40th anniversary on 2018. But still, it may be rough for some people. Number 6, Space Mountain at Walt Disney World's Disney's Magic Kingdom in Orlando, Florida. This ride also runs pretty smooth, but it has reached the end of its service life. They could have used Space Mountain's plot of land for the 2021 anticipated Tron-like cycle power run. It's pretty low on this list because Tron is already being constructed. Number 5, Viper at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California. This ride has gained a reputation as a rough ride, although it is the only Aero Monster Looper left in operation. They could definitely afford to remove this if it's too painful for some people. Number 4, Roar at Six Flags American Upper Marlboro, Maryland. I could say this ride really needs the RMC treatment. Like how Six Flags Discovery Kingdom did with their Roar turning it into the Joker. This ride has also gained a reputation as a rough ride. Well, it's slightly low on this list because they might not do the RMC treatment because they don't like this park all that much and they, it would probably be really cheap. Number 3, Batwing at Six Flags American Upper Marlboro, Maryland. After the closure of Kings Island's Firehawk, this ride can definitely get into the chopping block too. And I've also heard that there's been many maintenance issues. Unlike Roar, it does not have a reputation as a rough ride. But still, they can definitely afford to scrap this ride. Number 2, Lightning Racer at Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And another Hershey Park roller coaster. This one is a lot smoother and thrilling than Wildcat. But I do think that Hershey Park would rather to get rid of Lightning Racer than to get rid of Wildcat. And that's the only reason I'm putting this on the list. Just a quick message before the number 1 spot. Feel free to join my Discord server at Coaster Addict. Link in the description below. Like my video so far, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every video I make. And the most important, number one, Anaconda at King's Dominion in Doswell, Virginia. This is very high on this list because it is actually, if not, the most hated roller coaster in the coaster community. With its head banging transitions, its boring and uninspiring layout, and they can definitely do better than this. 
so they've recently announced an SNS free spin. So I'm sure they'll announce the Anacondas. They haven't announced the SNS free spin yet. After they announce the SNS free spin, they might announce Anaconda's closure. Thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be notified of every video I make. And also, smash that like button. Just a quick disclaimer. I'm not saying that these rides will officially be closing. I'm just saying the possibilities of these closures. I don't know, it's off topic. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!